As restrictions slowly ease within Australia, world issues continued to divide the world. In light of this, the Ahmadiyya Muslim Community Australia held a national peace symposium across 10 sites to broaden community connections and remind each other that attaining personal, societal and global peace remains an integral part of humanity's salvation. The program began with the recitation of the Holy Quran and opening remarks by Amir and missionary in charge of Australia, Inamul Haq Qosar Sahab. Despite beginning in Sydney, the program was held virtually and streamed to reach all major cities within Australia. Distinguished guests from each state addressed the topic of establishing peace for a brighter future. We find that in today's day and age, one thing that needs to be established more than anything is justice and equality, whether it be in the colour of the skin of people that we see around the world, whether it be the gender, whether it be a female or a male, absolute equality and justice is the key to the peace that we can attain in the world. This conversation I know is really important to many of you because you yourselves or know someone that have experienced political or religious violence or oppression. We know if we're going to move forward in a peaceful country, in a peaceful world, we must rid this world of that oppression. If there's one thing we know about human rights, is that they belong to all humans. They come to us by virtue of our being human. And we only create the conditions for peace, for that inseparability of peace and justice, when everybody's rights are met. After a challenging year that we've had, there is nothing more important than uniting the community and sharing messages of love, hope and peace. Thank you for giving so many of us hope as we recover from the coronavirus pandemic. Amir Sahab then concluded the address and thanked all guests and participants for their attendance and commitment to peace in the world. Need is justice, equality, love and harmony. If we get together, if we sit together, we talk to each other, the world will be changed. Of course, one drop becomes the river and the sea. He then led silent prayers and complimentary dinner was served. When we can't meet together and can't share the things we normally share, how we still find ways to communicate and connect with peaceful manner. Despite our differences, we have so much in common that we're all striving for peace in this country, uh, despite the things that are happening to us. MTA International, Australia Studios.